David Hearn has been working as a photographer for over 65 years. He joined the prestigious Magnum Agency in 1965, set up the famous School of Documentary Photography in Newport in 1973, and bequeathed his enormous collection of swapped prints to the National Museum Cardiff in 2019. He remains living and working in Tintern, Wales. Photography can only really be an extension of trying to record something you're really interested in. And the problem with most people is that they never find what they're interested in, really, and, and they can't simplify it. And, and the way that I got into photography, which was by seeing a picture which emotionally made me cry, and the realization that photography could can provoke emotion, whether it be happiness, sadness, anger, whatever it is, and that photography can overcome propaganda, seemed to me to be a pretty good combination of things. And I thought, well, I'd, I'd kind of like to have a bit of that. So I knew right from the beginning what I wanted to do. And by and large, I've shot the same picture ever since. And if I was being pompous, I'd say they're honest and they're accurate. I mean, I work in a particular sort of way, and, and, and that is that I see something that interests me, and I always shoot it, not as single pictures, but as though it's a, a story. It, it's partly because I, I was brought up at the time when there were um, magazines which ran stories, you know. So I've always worked slowly, in depth, in a kind of series, rather than having an emphasis on the single picture. And the single picture comes out of that series. I just want to record life as it is, you, you know, and I just happen to think that life is wonderful, you know. So I want my pictures to go into museums where almost by government decree, they have to be looked after. And I hope Desperately, the work that I've done, you know, it might be for a book, it might be something, gives somebody pleasure in the future. Yeah, you know, I can't think of anything more enjoyable than, than that. I'd shot just over 500 locations in Wales, but I knew that there was another 12 pictures I needed to get. Yeah, you know, I kept doing an editing to try to to do the fantasy book, you know, which was about 250 pictures, and I needed another 12 pictures. So the answer to your question is that as soon as the lockdown stopped, I've got 12 pictures to go and shoot, 12 locations to go to. There's nothing nicer than being liked. And I get enormous pleasure when somebody, you know, sends me an email now, they used to send a letter or something saying, you, I saw a photograph of me in so-and-so and I really love it and, and et cetera. And I always then send them a print. And so when a magazine like Amateur Photographer, who, who, you know, what, 1884 or something, is it? I, I think you right. That's a long time for a magazine to be going. So you must be doing something right. Um, and, and whether I like every bit of it or don't like it, it's irrelevant. You, you know, it's obviously a, an honorable magazine. And, and for that, which happens to have people in it that I've never met, you, you know, who suddenly give you what they, I presume, they think is their biggest award, you know, it's obviously nice. It's nice and I'm, I'm very happy to get it.